YouTube, <laughs> everybody Good. from YouTube, um, the world. I believe social media is a new world now. So it is a new world now. Apart from Earth, we got a new planet. Social media. Social media, I mean. So, good day, everyone, to every social media. Are you going to intro my vlog for me? Every social media, <laughs> media, and the media. Oh, my God. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my God. Can I intro my vlog? Ah, it's from a cup for your father. Last time. <laughs> you guys see what I deal with on a daily, like on a daily. Oh. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna run away and intro this vlog because I won't no. be. I won't be allowed to. <laughs> Babe, please let me intro my vlog. You want to do it for me? Will you know everything to say? No, I'll do it my way. Okay. Master of doing things your way. Intro the vlog. It's a new vlog. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a weekend vlog. Uh -huh. Um yeah, just intro it your way, you said. Hello beautiful people from the whole world. You're watching of course you're in this video. I want you guys to subscribe to this channel. She's got a lot of content for you guys coming up, rolling up every time, every time. She works so hard. I know. You know, and I don't want that hard work to come in vain or go in vain. Let me put it that way. So subscribe. Hit the button. Hit the button. And you know, give her the motivation to you know do more things. For you guys. But once again, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> that was a good intro. I told you, man. It's my thing. It's yeah, my it thing. is your thing. It's you do poetry, thing. so you're good at it. Anyways, good morning. Welcome, guys, to another vlog. <clears throat> you guys saw a lot of bureaus. My husband is teaching me how to do photography and how to do it well professionally so all of the i tried to sort of include a little bit of my morning routine for you guys to see i didn't want to actually talk through that that's an actual morning routine like cleaning the kitchen doing my bed like and everything like that i just made breakfast so we're gonna go have breakfast and i figured that oh it's okay it's time for me to say something i miss you guys so much but yeah let me just intro the vlog you're welcome to another weekly vlog this is going to be more like a weekend vlog of such yeah because it's saturday today and i intend to drag this vlog till tomorrow and probably end it tomorrow so yeah you're welcome i wish you guys so much i hope you guys stay i hope you guys watch this vlog the title definitely says what i'm going to be doing in the vlog i am going to be meal prepping doing some grocery tomorrow i'm going to be cleaning the apartment and i mean cleaning my bathroom and just doing the laundry and stuff like that i might film a film a video tomorrow as well so yeah i just thought that i should intro the vlog i miss you guys i haven't done this in such a long time but we're gonna talk later okay let me just eat shower get ready to do my grocery and we're gonna talk we're gonna talk later you guys should know what has been up with me and everything but yeah subscribe <laughs> view into what we're having for breakfast we i made some scrambled eggs because i love to have scrambled eggs and we have this leftover chinese from yesterday so i also reheated that so that we have that and chef kuku is here people are asking if you take orders all this chef kuku remember when you made the poton poton yeah and then you said your name was chef kuku people are for real i said <laughs> You don't even remember, do you? Yeah. And this is what Echo is having. Echo is actually very weird with food. He never has... I made him scrambled eggs. And this is what he turned it into. So this is nothing of my thoughts. Nothing of my doing. Everything here is him. So we're going to have all of the food that you see here. And it's currently almost 1, 1 p.m. We woke up very late because... We're tired so we slept we slept in a lot longer so yeah let's go and enjoy breakfast chef cuckoo yeah babe. okay guys so i am ready to go and do the grocery now let me show you guys what i'm wearing 
so a little outfit of the day i put on this white top i think this is for echo and i put on this nike stretch that i have i, I think i got this as a gift on my birthday and i also put on my back i also got this as a gift from my husband on my birthday so yeah this is basically outfit of the day and i have my little yellow purse i i don't know if you guys it's in the living room but yeah i'll show you when i go outside but and yeah i put on these earrings as well because my hair is short so obviously i had to spice it up a little plus my jewelry it's just like the regular regular nothing really extra so yeah let's go and do grocery We're back home guys so we just came back home there's so many things i look you want to do a grocery haul that's why i didn't take you guys to like buying the things process but there are so many things i don't know how i feel do you guys like grocery hauls wait comment below before comment below let me know if if you don't like grocery hauls, comment below so that I don't include them in my vlogs anymore. But yeah, I have some tortilla. This is, I was actually looking for tortillas that were like healthy. They have these green tortillas that I've been seeing that, that I've been wanting. So I was looking for that one. But yeah, I didn't get that one. So this is cauliflower and flour tortilla. So that is that. I have bread. I got some Goya rice. <laughs> Goya is cancelled, guys. Please, I know. But this is the only rice that I could find. And Charlie, I was lazy, so please. Goya is cancelled. Well, they are still cancelled. I also got some grape tomatoes. This for breakfast. And I have some beans. I have some banana. I have some pepper or habaneros, however you want to call them. I have some plantain. I have some lettuce. I'm showing you guys the food first. So I have some lettuce. I have some, this is mixed berries. This I use for smoothies in the morning. So it's very good when I feel very lazy to make actual breakfast. This for smoothies in the morning is so cool. And we have some mixed veggies this mixed vegetables i like i really like this in my stew tomato stew it makes it smell so good and it just adds like that extra thing like you don't need to chop 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 veggies and add to your stew you just throw this and you have a whole stew done so yeah and i also bought some spinach frozen spinach and i have some salad ranch or ranch dressing i also have some vanilla extracts i'm trying to make it fast so that it's not it doesn't make the video long just because of the grocery and we have some orange juice we have some whatever brand that i feel like i should mention i will mention i hope this thing is not expired okay not <laughs> we have some uh, what's it called milk low fat milk but this is the chocolate milk this is what my husband likes to have in the morning not likes to have but this is what he chose to have or chose to take and then i got some almond milk for myself lactose intolerance and we have some meats this is gizzard i like gizzard for my stew or my sauces and i have chicken breast for myself because i'm on a weight loss journey if you didn't know and then we also have some drumsticks chicken drumsticks or whatever chicken thighs however you want to call it um, and then some fanta if i didn't show the fanta but yeah one this is two liter one liter fanta two liter fanta 
and then i'm gonna show a few other things that i want to show this is actually the part that i want to show so i also got some like I won't say decor pieces per se, but I also got some household items. Let me say household items. I got a reed diffuser. I've been wanting a reed diffuser for a while for like air refreshing, smelling good and stuff like that. There's so much television noise going on right now. So it is what it is. It's a household, okay? So I got two reed diffusers and I got I got some artificial flowers. I'm going to I'll put it together. You guys will see. It will come to life. And then I got a vase, a vase to put the flower inside. I want to put I want to put some flower in the kitchen just so that it gives it some nice touch. I also got a candle. This is so cute. I like the wooden touch that it has to it. And it says serenity. It doesn't smell the best but i bought it for packaging packaging sells if you if you have packaging good packaging i'll buy it that's that's how i am <laughs> so yeah and then i got i got a pan so i got a i've been looking for a good pot and pan to buy i'm not so sure if this is good 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 but this it looks like looks like it will last us a while so we got that as well and i got that from dollar general if you're wondering not dollar store there's family dollar and there's dollar general dollar general is like regular pricing and dollar family dollar or dollar tree is one dollar and then i also got this set of like cooking wooden spoons i guess for like making stew and sauces and stuff like that I, i'm actually trying or thinking of transitioning a lot of my kitchen equipment or kitchen tools or like eating stuff into wood i'm thinking of like getting wooden bowls like wooden stuff for my kitchen in in my home like in my future home everything or like majority of my aesthetics will be like wood so i'm moving towards that that direction you know because God is about to bless me for me to buy my home soon, you know, so it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. And I also got some like kitchen. This is for my plate, my, what's it called? My spoons and stuff to organize my spoons and stuff. And this is for my bathroom. I'll show you guys what I'll use this for in my bathroom. And then just some regular detergent stuff, like laundry detergent. And this is bleach for the bathroom. And yeah, I think that's it. So that is basically everything. Oh, I have some coconut oil as well. I use, if you guys have watched my nail video and how I do my nails by myself at home, then you will see that I soak my nails in oil for a while. So yeah, I get oil literally almost every other week. This is basically everything that I got. So I'm gonna set you guys up here and put everything away, time lapse and put everything away as I'm supposed to. And then yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put the plant here. I did one just so you guys could see. I want to take them off because they come together like that. So I want to sort of separate it so I can be able to put it here. So I'll put this first. These ones look bigger and these ones look like lilies. So hopefully I don't spoil it at all. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. It's actually not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I wanted to give it a little bit of color. That's why I picked this one up. But hopefully it's doing what I want it to do. I don't know. I think I should keep it in the center. Yep. So 
not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. Yep, it's not bad. So I am thinking of putting it near my spice rack here. I'm actually thinking of taking my spice rack off and just putting this this here. Let's see how it looks like on camera. Hmm. Not so bad. Maybe I'll just put the spice rack next to it. In the center here, let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like, or this is what it's going to look like. It's not bad, I'm not so mad. With time, it will build. With time, my whole kitchen is going to look how I want it to look like. So yeah, little progress is what we're doing now. Okay, so now I'm gonna organize my spoons and stuff. So this is what I bought. It totally didn't serve any purpose whatsoever. I can't fit anything inside this thing. Like it's so worthless, like no point whatsoever. I don't know what this space is for. Ugh, cause I have, I also have this drawer here, which is pretty organized for me, which I keep like my thongs and stuff inside, like my measuring cups and stuff here. I'm pretty sure that's why they left this little space here but i don't know what to keep here because it's totally senseless i actually like this drawer more than this drawer anyway i don't think that i've ever owned a rediffuser i've seen it but i haven't owned it before so i have people i have friends who sell some but so this is what it looks like it's a very small and this particular scent is the garden rain scent i don't know what this will smell like this one doesn't smell bad i got two i'm thinking of which one i can put in the bathroom because i want to put one in the bathroom and one in the living room and this one is sage and citrus this one also looks very i like the packaging it looks so good Sage and citrus. Sage and citrus is not bad for bathroom. I think I should put sage and citrus in the bathroom. And then put this in the living room. Yeah. So these are the reeds that you put inside. So I'm just gonna do that. It's so cute. <laughs> And I got these, I haven't vlogged in a while, so you guys haven't seen it, but I got this set, also from Dollar Store, it's also very cute. And this this also I got from Dollar Store a very long time ago, I'm just going to put it somewhere. But yeah, this is what that looks like. So this is to, this is for this area here. I want to organize the things in this this little space i don't like the way everything is just like all over the place so i know that this will not be enough but at least it will help me organize a few things here so i'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up and do that right now okay so it is organized now oh it looks way better now the other one is over in the back and i put this one here so i just 
arranged everything. It looks way better now. I'm just going to put this here. And then that's it. That's it. Okay, guys. So many, many, many hours later, I made dinner. Ignore this chicken. I literally just took it out of the oven. I tried to do the bro bro broiling method in the oven just so that I was going to be faster and like cook well. So it gives you the fried chicken vibe, but in the oven. So I like to do this method instead of like just baking the chicken regularly. So I also made some jollof fries and some alo salad. This is the best alo salad that I can always make. I just put in some lettuce, cook some eggs, always throw in some corn and this time around I added some grape tomatoes and yeah this is basically what we are going to be having for dinner. I didn't want to take you guys through cooking the food because obviously there's so many recipes on this channel. I've been doing so many cooking videos. I felt like this vlog should be a little different so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and dish out dinner serve dinner to my boys and then yeah we're gonna have dinner and chill <laughs> good morning guys uh so last night i just left you guys I, I think i left you guys hanging i didn't say anything again after the food but in all honesty we just ate and then just chilled in the living room and there's this series that we we're watching on Netflix, so we just watched that. And I slept very early yesterday because I was so tired. <sighs> nothing special, nothing really happened yesterday. But yeah, we're up today. It's a new day, it's Sunday morning, and I came upstairs to take my microphone's attachment. But yeah, today, today I have a few plans. So today I have a few plans. Yesterday I didn't, I said, I think I remember that I said I was going to show you guys me meal prepping and doing stuff, but I didn't do any of that. So I'm actually going to do it today. I figured why don't you do the meal prepping today because it's meal prepping for the rest of the week. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today. I have a little to-do list. Let me just show you. It will make it easier for you guys to know what I have to do for today and then we'll just get into today's activities so i made this little to-do list i've been trying to get my printer to print but i don't know why i have a paper jam right here these all i don't know like every all the papers in the printer decided to print at the same time so it's jammed i have to wait for my husband to wake up so that he figures it out this is not my figuring out but yeah, I've tried to figure it out several times and I didn't, I wasn't able to do it. So I had to manually write this down. But yeah, this is what I am literally going to be doing today. Cleaning the living room, doing the laundry, cooking or meal prepping. I have to clean the bathroom. I have to film for IGTV. I mentioned that yesterday. I also have to take some photos. That's if I'm in a mood too. I honestly don't want to put pressure on myself for content creation right now so yeah but i also have to go and check on the same laundry and then maybe take off my makeup i'm thinking of filming a makeup look and a wig look so yeah so essentially this is what i'm going to be doing for today it is currently almost 8 p.m 8 a.m i woke up at like 5 i got a phone call at 5 so it literally just messed up my whole sleep but my husband is still in bed right now but yeah, I know that I said yesterday I was going to talk to you guys about me being sort of MIA for a while. But yeah, I will do that towards the end of this vlog. So still stay through, don't go anywhere. But yeah, let me just go and get my life together. What's the first thing that we have to do? Clean the living room. So yeah, the living room is a mess. I didn't clean the living room yesterday when I cleaned the kitchen. So I'm just going to do that right now. <laughs> Got 
this is done as well. So next. Another development is that now every Sunday in this home is Fufu Sundays. <laughs> It excites me so much, but I recently just came up with that. Like I said, I haven't vlogged in a while, so you guys maybe have missed up on a few things that I have decided to be doing. But every Sunday, I have decided to do fufu just so that we don't miss home so much because you know that it, it was like a tradition in my home to have fufu literally every Sunday. My auntie, my mom's sister, she would usually do Sunday fufu every Sunday every sunday like it was so cool so i intend to bring that as some some sort of like a tradition into my own home now that i'm building a home or whatever <laughs> so yeah now every sunday we have fufu we've been doing it for two consecutive weeks so this is going to be our third week and today you guys are going to be a part of it and yeah it is 10 a.m so we also have it in the morning so if you if you can relate definitely comment below i am half ashanti and half bronga hafo so half ashanti and half bro and we are tribes in all honesty we are a tribe that appreciates fufu we love fufu we adore fufu ashanti to be precise my dad loves fufu i love fufu when i was pregnant with my daughter i had fufu literally all the way through <laughs> and it's so good so yeah i'm just going to keep that moving so today i'm going to be doing fufu but before fufu we are going to have like a little breakfast situation. Let me turn the camera over and show you guys. We're going to have a little breakfast situation because we're very hungry before the fufu actually gets into action. Okay, so you guys remember the salad from yesterday, from last night? There was like a little leftover or whatever. So we put it in a bread to have. This is so good. I used to have it so much when I was back home so yeah and then we're just having the orange juice we bought orange juice from yesterday you guys remember the orange juice from yesterday it's literally our favorite orange juice to have it's the only orange juice that we have so we are gonna have that as like a quick brunch because it's 10 so as like a quick brunch situation then i'm gonna make the fufu after and we're also having it in the balcony because it's chilled or whatever so yeah make meal <laughs> oh my god okay anyway so i wanted to show you guys our like uh meal prep for the week ignore the fufu because fufu is what we're eating today but i'm gonna make some white rice i'm also going to make some beans and spinach stew this board i got from the dollar store if you're wondering or the dollar tree whichever dollar is close to you that's okay and then i also have to make chicken oven baked chicken so this is usually what let me turn the camera over is that every week i make white rice a large bowl of white rice and just keep it in the fridge it's been very helpful let me tell you what it has been so time like where well, it's been like time saving like it's been so super super helpful because like i said we have to talk we'll talk later but i got sick so we'll talk later towards the end of the video but i got sick and during that week it was what saved me having white rice cooked in the fridge actually saved me from doing back and forth i had white rice cooked in the fridge i had chicken baked in like a bowl of chicken so that really helped me that was what my husband was feeding on when i was sick and like stew as well you know so what i do right now is my phone is going to go off at any time so in case it shuts off it is what it is i gotta go and put it on charge but yeah what i do is that i make white rice like a large bowl of white rice and just keep that in the fridge and i also bake some chicken or fry some chicken and keep that also in the fridge and then i also bake some tomato stew or tomato sauce however you want to call it and then keep that as well like large bowls of all these things and then keep them in the fridge so during the week if i feel like i don't want to cook or if i feel like i can't cook whatever whatever they just come into the fridge and then serve themselves microwave it and then they're all good to go but if i feel like i want to add something if i want to make cook something different or if you want to eat something different then i'll do that but 
because like he has a work schedule and he comes only on break his break is like very quick and sometimes he needs something to eat and sometimes i'm very tired and i don't want to cook so when i have food in the fridge it saves me so much time so meal prepping on its own actually saves you a lot of time as like a human being if you're a mom that's definitely way to go because it will save you all the time that you need in the world so today i'm going to do white rice right now while i'm doing the fufu my like i said my phone might go off anytime soon but yeah i'm going to just start doing all of that put all of that on fire and maybe when i finish i'll show you guys everything because unfortunately my phone will not allow you to go through the process with me but all right guys so let me show you guys how far we've come because i'm so tired at this point and i just might not be <laughs> i'm so tired okay so i have my rice i have some of the rice here for separating <laughs> but yeah i have my baked chicken that you guys saw and this is this is my spread this is what i will be having with my burrito this is literally my burrito filling i have the jello fries from yesterday i have the grape onion the grape tomatoes i have some corn i have some beans i have some chicken chicken breast and i have some lettuce so this is what is going to be in my tortilla filling and i have this for like four days so like i said so yeah i just want to finish putting everything together i want to fi finish cooking and putting them away and then i'll clean the kitchen and then go and clean the bathroom take my shower because i'm tired and then i'll check back in with you guys oh i'm so tired but yeah a life of the life of a woman but if you do this that during the week you're like good during the week you can relax during the week you can chill because there's food you know so yeah okay so i already showed you guys my meal but this is literally what i have these bowls i love them so much because they already come with a demarcation so it's easier for you to just part the food but yeah i have the bigger bowl of rice here and then the bigger bowl of stew here and then the chicken here and then this is the leftover jello fries from yesterday and i have this is my smoothie this is a combo of banana and mixed berries so this is what i'll use for smoothie in case i want to have smoothie during the week but yeah this is literally my spread and and trust me when i say that this saves so much time imagine i have all of this in the fridge i can eat anything that i want and save myself the stress and the time from having to cook literally every day of the week with this like i literally have to cook like two days a week or like three days a week or maybe even like a day a week or sometimes i can decide not to cook you know because like we have work week so we're usually not at home at home so it's not like we're constantly eating and just at home bored and just eating you know so this is very helpful i'd advise that you meal prep if you honestly don't do that and you guys saw my meals like maybe during the week i might maybe i might film a video of what i eat during the week to try to lose weight because like i said i am on a weight loss journey I'm, I, I want to go upstairs and maybe talk to you guys about it now that the vlog is sort of coming to an end but yeah this is literally our food for the week and if i ever have to make anything else i will make it but this is legit it rice is a staple every week chicken is almost a staple every week and then i make some type of stew or some type of sauce or whatever so yeah let's <sighs> Okay, so I am upstairs. It's so warm. Oh my god. It is so warm. The sun is so crazy. Like, but yeah, 
I said I wanted to give you guys a little life update. I haven't vlogged for a while. I haven't put out even videos for a while. But this was mainly because I fell ill or I got sick. Not Corona though. But yeah, I got sick. Something they call tension headache. I had never seen or heard about it before. But if you guys watched my cutting my hair video, the video where I let my husband cut my hair, you remember that I was complaining that I had some sort of headache. So because of that, I wanted to like cut my hair basically. So that was what happened. So it started from like me having little headaches, like reoccurring headaches. And I thought that it was normal. And at a point I also thought it was my hair. That was why I cut my hair, like I said. And now moving forward, it just like became unbearable. It became so bad. It was in this, it went, like in this region, it was in my forehead. And then it was in my scalp, like this area right here. And then it comes down to my eyes and then goes down to the back of my neck it was such an unbearable pain if you've ever 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 faced any form of headache like that before definitely comment below so that i know like i said i never heard about it till i faced it like about like a week or two ago it literally broke me down i had to be like sleeping for like three days straight because i was so sick i thought i i was even scared for for at a point i thought that it was the thing and then now at a point i thought that i was pregnant like it was crazy like i was tired i was i don't know but we had to look into it we had to go and look into it and then we realized that that, that is what it was and it, it was caused by a lot of other things like sleeplessness and what's called stress a lot of other things i mean once they mentioned stress i obviously knew that is the girl okay so yeah that was what happened and i think before i sort of fell off social media even before i got sick it just happened around the same time i fell off social media i wasn't posting any content because like creating content at home just at home is not it's not like easy it's not so fun i mean we're trying but yeah it's not so fun so yeah i i just decided to stay on social media and basically take care of myself and make sure that i'm okay i decided to not put pressure on myself to create content whatsoever like i would i i even had a whole day where i didn't touch my i didn't do any social media i didn't go on instagram i think i deleted the apps for a day like i actually wanted to stay off and like think about myself for a while you know like put things right and do things right for a while not for a while but i mean just put things in order and yada yada so that was what happened i got sick that was exactly what happened there was nothing extra i sort of wanted to give you guys a little life update that's basically what has been happening with your girl i just wanted to give you guys this little life update because i feel like in my vlog that's when you guys get to hear my life updates that's when you guys get to see what's really up with me and everything i i'm gonna be putting out contents i say that every time but yeah when life happens life happens and i gotta be okay because really you have to be okay to create content and it's so true you, you have to be in like some space to be able to put out some type of content because really what's the point if you turn on your youtube channel i mean if you turn on your tv and the youtube video you're seeing the person's mood is all the way down and no vibe like really what are we doing you know so i have to make sure that my mood is right one my like everything is right so i can be able to create content for you guys so yeah it's so hot right now that is just it for my little life update and that's i think that will be it for the vlog in all honesty i missed you guys so much comment down below if you missed me too and if you're also trying to figure your shit out because things are, are a little crazy right now like things are a little crazy unemployment like things are crazy so comment below let's chat you want to give me a little life update on yourself i'm ready to hear i'm ready to chat so yeah i will leave you guys at 
at this point or whatever so comment them i mean follow me on all my social media platforms if you don't already do that across your bank across all social media platforms i don't know what you're doing if you don't already do that but yeah i'm, I'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i love you guys so much i do so much you guys your support your messages even the day i remember the day that i posted on my instagram that i wanted to take a little social media break oh the messages you guys are so nice like telling me to take time off and that you're gonna be there oh anyways hi <laughs> i'm happy that i'm building a community i'm happy that i'm building a community of people who actually notice when i don't feel good and then i want to be away for a while you know like this alone is seven minutes i'm gonna go away thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i love you look forward to my vlogs because i love doing my vlogs and i want to do more vlogs so don't ask me why i'm putting out vlogs because you think that i'm a new youtuber first of all i am not a new let me not even go into that i love you i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye <laughs>